So how do we actually calculate mean absolute error? So we've seen that we've got a value of 4.35. And since the, the house prices, this is 4,035. So that's what the difference is between actual and predicted. Now we worked it out on the test data. This is important to understand. When we created our model, we slid our actual data here into training and testing. The testing part was split out so we can evaluate, basically keep some values hidden from the model so then we can use them to test our model. So basically show if you were to get a student to study, maybe you can give them all the questions and answer the syllabus of the subject, but keep two questions or four questions, whatever that you want, or 20% of the content hidden in terms of the questions. You know, you can access the past questions, past question papers and answers. So rather than give them access to all the past papers and answers so they you basically remember the the answers keep that data hidden from them so that you can let them practice on the question and answer that you do give them access to to help them understand how the question and answers work but keep some of them to yourself so that you can actually then explain to them how it, you can actually then test them how uh, how good they are at answering questions the so same here so we kept the, some some data separately and uh, that meant keeping just 20 percent two values because our data set is very small so this is absolutely fine. Two values is 20% uh, of the total data. And what we did was, in order to calculate the mean absolute error, we imported in this function from sklearn metrics. And then in order to use that, what we did was we shortened it as MAE. So this is the alias for it. And then we gave it the Y test and Y test predicted. So there were two values that we had. So over here, we had the two values. So that's your Y values and the predicted value as you can see here, we pass it the uh, X value for the test and we ask it to predict the, the Y values. So we have the actuals being compared against the predicted and that's what gives you mean absolute error.